Like much of this year, COVID-19 continues to hog the limelight. And this week too, it's about the same clinical trials that we spoke about last week. At the same time, global IT companies continue to bring innovations to the healthcare sector. While some are independently developing innovative products, others are collaborating with healthcare systems. As a consequence, changes in the healthcare system is a given. So let's dive right in and take a quick look at the latest healthcare updates of this week. Starting with some good news for us all, more than 1 billion people could be immunized against coronavirus by the end of next year. After American drug maker Pfizer and Indian pharma company Dr. Reddy's laboratories announced the positive results of the vaccine's clinical trials, US-based biotech firm Moderna has announced very impressive results for its mRNA-based vaccine with over 95% efficacy. Since Moderna included high-risk and elderly people in their trial, the company has claimed that their vaccine would protect those who are the most vulnerable to the disease. Interestingly, African countries, despite their fragile health system, have dealt with this pandemic in a much better manner than most developed countries. They have initiated a lot of effective campaigns to restrict the spread of the virus. The COVID death rate in Africa is significantly low at 37,000, as compared to 580,000 deaths in the Americas, 230,000 in Europe, and over 200,000 in Asia. And these vaccines couldn't come at a better time. The American Heart Association has found that about 25% of people experiencing a heart attack or a stroke would rather stay at home than actually go to a hospital due to fear of infection. An AI-based healthcare startup, AliveCore, seems to have leveraged this opportunity to create a tech that turns a smartphone into a clinical-grade electrocardiogram recorder. This Silicon Valley-based company is using machine learning algorithms to process and interpret heart rhythms using a small interface device and the smartphone. AliveCore claims that the algorithm can defect several common arrhythmias or irregular heartbeats with 98% sensitivity. Well, here's an interesting human story. 23-year-old Sanjay Kandaswamy, who had undergone the country's first pediatric liver transplant as a 20-month-old child in 1998, is all set to become a pediatrician. Hailing from Kanchipuram in Tamil Nadu, Sanjay will take the Hippocratic Oath on April 2021. Sanjay was born with a very rare condition called biliary arthesia, which causes liver failure among newborns. Recalling the 22-year-old liver transplant surgery, Dr. Anupam Sibal said that Sanjay Kandaswamy is a classic example of long-term, smooth survival after undergoing a liver transplant surgery. Nigeria-based e-health startup 54Gene has launched its Clinical Program Services Division. This division is designed to provide end-to-end -end clinical development services, intelligence, logistics, and infrastructure to conduct clinical trials in Africa. Moreover, the CPS division will focus on partnering with global pharma companies and biotechnology companies to develop and commercialize new therapeutic areas and diagnostic products in the market. Specialized in research and development, 54Gene utilizes human genetic data from a very diverse African population to improve development, availability, and efficacy of medical products. So now onto a bit of controversy. A clinical trial on the therapy that can help treat autism is on hold after two participants temporarily lost the ability to walk. California-based biopharmaceutical company UltraGenYX, in collaboration with Florida-based biotech startup GenTX, had launched a small clinical trial in February this year to assess the safety of a therapy for Angelman syndrome, a very rare genetic condition related to autism. The experts said that the therapy otherwise appears to be effective except for the safety issues which need to be resolved very soon. Well, the therapy eventually should not create any controversy like the vaccine conversation did for several years. Since British researchers published a paper stating that the MMR vaccine causes autism in 1998, anti-vaxxers around the world have been fueling their anti-vaccine rhetoric basis that paper. The paper has since been labeled fraud and is, the debate continues over the efficacy of a vaccine. But it's now established that vaccines do not cause autism. 
Due to factors like social distancing and frequent testing protocols, while attending classes, students are facing anxiety and depression issues. This has led to a greater need for effective mental health care delivery. Virtual mental health care startup Mantra Healthcare has launched an integrated managed care program and partnered with Penn State University, St. John's University, and Moravian College. This closed-loop telehealth platform consists of three major components, a telehealth app for students, a collaboration platform to monitor patients, and to refer them to the Mantra providers, and a proprietary EHR system that follows cases across this closed ecosystem. Well, that's a wrap for this week's episode. As always, next Monday we'll be back with more healthcare updates. Till then, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the Global Healthcare Archives by Midvarsity.